Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Growing Our Kids in Jamaica. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe so you see just how I grow orchids in Jamaica. Some time ago, I did a video um, showing you my plants that I have under the almond tree. Well, today, I want to give you an update of my plants that I have under the almond tree. And so, if you want to see just what is blooming under my almond tree, just stay tuned. So today I want to give you an update of what I have been doing under the almond tree and guess what guys I have a few bloomers lovely bloomers under the almond tree and this is my first one that I'm going to be introducing you today my dendrobium smelly it actually has on five spikes guys this one is a double can you imagine a double spike on my dendrobium smelly now this plant seemed to bloom just once per year and it seemed to be a deciduous plant so what happens it actually loses its leaves at a particular time and then it sends out the spike to the end of the stem and it is just such a beautiful plant and this year it is actually putting on this stunning show guys just look at how beautiful this plant is and i am just loving it actually i have it in a clay pot and the medium that i have it in is actually just charcoal and a few pieces of bark in it I keep it hanging in this almond tree for the entire year at around January thereabout I stop watering and stop feeding however I will mist it somewhat I'll mist it uh, just the same but the fact that it's in a clay pot what will happen it will dry out pretty quickly and because of that it really loves that condition under the almond tree it doesn't get a lot of sunlight however it may get the morning sun under the tree and it just grows and grows and grows because look at it the, the there are some new growths that you're seeing here and these growths are what will bloom for me next blooming season for this plant and just look at how beautiful it is and i am just loving it loving it loving it look at that isn't that a beauty all right i have been doing some other stuff under the almond tree i am experimenting with the phalaenopsis orchids and so what i am doing i am actually mounting the phalaenopsis orchids so this one that i have mounted here on a bit of driftwood and it is not yet established but it is still blooming and i am sure pretty soon it will become established and then it will do its thing this is another concept that i'm trying i am actually growing the phalaenopsis orchid again on the coconut husk and i've recently planted them so they're not established however i am just trying it to see what will happen with it and well this one here actually starts rooting and I realize that they have not stopped blooming and it is the same thing with this one even though it is going to take some time for it to climatize but they are still blooming so perhaps what I'll have to do is to remove the bloom from them just to allow the plant to concentrate on rooting and becoming established because these plants are prolific bloomers and if you follow them they will bloom and bloom and bloom their self to death and we don't want that to happen at all 
okay under the almond tree i also recently bought some seedlings some encyclia seedlings and this is one here that i recently purchased from hamlin's orchid there it is and it is actually sending out its root into the medium so it tells me that it actually likes what i have been doing with it and this is another one that i purchased too from hamlin quite recently and it is also doing pretty well no i have this encyclia orchid i think it's the cardera if i've pronounced it correctly and when i potted the this orchid i had just about two or three bulbs left over and i decided to try it on the mount and believe me guys it is doing much better than the plant that i have potted and actually it is here sending out two spikes so i realized that the encyclia orchids really like to be mounted no of course guys you know there is always a star plant and today my star plant is this so the plant of the day is this dendrobium farmeri yes guys this plant is blooming for me for the second time and look at the stunning show that it is actually putting on isn't this a beauty guy just look at that i think this is a purse prize it has on five spikes and look at it i have it here hanging under the almond tree from i bought it two years ago and it is actually in a plastic pot and the medium in the plastic pot is actually gravel that's river stone with charcoal and basically a little bit of bark and i place it in this wire basket this galvanized wire basket and have it here hanging under the tree look at the stunning show that it is actually putting on i am just loving it five spikes this year and it is just wowing me just look at it look at it guys now this plant requires winter rest and so after october coming down you rarely water and then that will instigate the spike but during the rest of the year you actually just um water and fertilize regularly which i tend to fertilize with a weak fertilizer weekly and water at least twice per week and i spray them when it is necessary so this is my dendrobium femori and it is just putting on this splendid show this is a pink with yellow lips with white around the edge of the lips how beautiful it is wow it is just so gorgeous guys and there it is my dendrobium from Arai. i have one more plant to show you that is doing pretty well under my almond tree guys now look here look at this this is a dendrobium anusmum no this dendrobium anusmum is to die for look how stunning it is guys it is a pink with a deep purple in the center of the lip and it is just no this one is a very large one for years i've had the smaller one if you notice around the back here this is the one that i tend to have right here so i have quite a bit of this one 
and what i do i plant it also in the wire basket and i just basically tie it to the around the wire basket to give it that cascade look and just look how beautiful it is here it has on quite a number of spikes with buds coming out so you realize that this is also going to be putting on a very spectacular show in a few days from now but this one here i tell you i didn't even know that i had this one i am so happy when it opened and i realize that i have it because it is just such a splendid one that i have here under my almond tree right so once it's bloomed off i am actually going to see if i can just set up a bigger pot of it since this is really a very big one now look what i have it in i have it in one of the mesh baskets and in this mesh basket i have just charcoal and river stone and that's all that is in it now this is another one that i bought from hamlin orchids and but it has not yet bloomed for me and it is the same concept just tying it on the outside of the mesh basket the galvanized basket and they seem to do pretty well on it i bought this as a seedling and of course it has not yet bloomed for me but i realize that it's some of the leaves are becoming yellow so i'm hoping that it will at least bloom for me this year because i can't wait to see what it is it's actually a dendrobium anosmum forma alba cross with that on the dendrobium anosmum forma alba for n so i think this may be a white but let us see what happens i can't wait to see it blooming for me and there's this other one that i have here this is the dendrobium aphilum which is also a deciduous dendrobium which sheds its leaves and then it blooms so these are my dendrobium a nosmum and a film that I have blooming right now under the almond tree. So these are what I have blooming under the almond tree, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And so you never miss another video. Please subscribe to my channel. And as we say in a Jamaica, just follow back on me. This is the Orchid Dock and I am growing orchids in Manchester, Jamaica.